In this video, I will try to explain how to wire different components in um, a multi-SIM schematic and then simulate it for voltages and currents through the components. I will take an example of a simple DC circuit uh, with three resistor values and one power source, a DC power source. So let's start. Uh, I would right click first thing, place component because I've said three resistors. So let's go into the basics and select a resistor and 1K and then OK. So place three resistors. Uh, it doesn't matter what value, we can change the values later on. So I place three resistors on there. What I also need is a power source. So if I go into the all groups and then ba uh, sources, power sources and then DC power. So that will give me a DC battery. I can choose its value later on. So I've got a DC battery and what I also need is a ground. So I put ground there uh, because I want to simulate it for voltages and currents through all the circuit elements. So I would take six of the voltmeters, uh, one for the voltage across this R1, one for the current through this R1, uh, one for the voltage across this R3, one for the current through this R3, uh, one for the voltage across this R2, one for the current through this R3. And let's connect them now. So to wire the circuit, or before wiring, let's ch let's change the values of these. So a 12 volt battery, I want to change it, let's say the value into a 20 volt. Um, and I want to change the resistor values into 10 ohms, uh, 20 ohms, and then 10 ohms, instead of the K ohms. Um, and then, to wire it, I will click on the top terminal of this battery and then because I want it to be connected to the this multimeter first, so positive terminal of the multimeter because I am going to measure current through this one, so that should be in series. So connect, click and click, that will connect it to R1. Uh, drag it a bit down, um, click click and click because I want to measure voltage across this multimeter. So I want to connect it in parallel. As you know, voltage is measured in parallel or voltage stays the same in parallel. Now I want to uh, flip this resistor at an angle of 90 degrees. So I will click on that one and then I want to connect it to this resistor to complete the path. And then I want to again flip this into at an angle of 90 degrees. Uh, so do that and this will be measuring the voltage again across R2. Click, connect, click, click, click and connect nice and tidy. Again, I want to flip it at an angle of 90 degrees. This will be measuring uh, current. So I will connect it in series connect it to the ground, then connect the negative terminal of the battery to the ground. Connecting R3, click. See, that's not aligned, so I, what I can do is I can move this slightly by selecting and uh, pressing the down arrow. Click, click, click. Click. And this one for current measurements. And what I want is connect this circuit to complete it. Um, now I want to label these uh, multimeters in such a way that if you go into the properties, Like, mm. I can use it as in an AC, as in a DC. So because I'm using this one as in a DC and I want to uh, measure current through this one, so I will set it. Um, I'll put this one here. And this one again, DC 
but I want to measure voltage, so that's my voltage here. Again, this one is uh, the voltage, so that's voltage and DC. This one is the current. So let's put the current ones here. Um, so these are the current ones. And uh, that's my current one as well. And that's my voltage. And then what I need to do now at this point is just to press this simulate button, run button. Um, if I press that one, now the circuit is simulating and giving me the values. You see, I have about 12 volt across multimeter 4. Um, because that was selected as in a voltage. So that's an error. I wanted to measure um, current there. So let's change it to current. So this to current as well. So these are all currents. The current through this branch, current through this branch, and current through that branch. So the input current through multimeter 2 was 1.2 amperes, which then broke down into two currents, multimeter 4 and multimeter 6. Multimeter 4 has about 800 milliamps and multimeter 4, uh, sorry, multimeter 4 has about 800 milliamps and multimeter 6 has about 400 milliamps. If you add them up, that does become 1.2 amps or 1200 milliamps. Um, then talking about the voltage drops, uh, I have about 834.7 microvolt voltage drop across 10, 10 ohm resistor, which is the first resistor I want. And then I have about 834.5 microvolt voltage drop across XM or multimeter 3, which is through R3. And then I have about 8 volts of voltage drop across my Multi, uh, multimeter 5 or resistor R2. So this is the way you can actually measure what voltage drops across the elements are and what the current through the elements are. Um, we will learn these through the calculations through the analytical moving forward. Thank you very much for watching. This is how you will simulate a circuit. And if I wanted to stop, I can just stop and say goodbye.